when the narcissist is cruel and unfair to you. When they engage in wicked and immoral behaviour in an attempt to hurt you or cause misfortune. The narcissist will usually do this in the discard phase when they are preparing to discard you. Which is why you should be careful with what you are sharing with a narcissist. You cannot confide in someone like that. Because they will only use that information against you somewhere down the line. Narcissists are very questionable people. They cannot be trusted with anything. They're very petty and small minded. They give attention to things that are of little importance. And then they blow it out of proportion. They turn it into a big deal. They make molehills into mountains. When they see that you're doing well, they're never there to congratulate you or to give you praise. If you do one thing wrong, they will be there to give you their opinions. But you never see them when you're doing something well. It's only when you do something that's not good. That's the only time that you see them. And that's when they will give you their opinions. Which shows that they're not really on your side anyway. They're fake and untrustworthy. And they're likely to be cruel and unfair to you. Which is why you need to remove these people from your life. Because they don't care about you. They don't support you. They're just remaining and persistent in your life without contributing anything of significant value to you. They don't give you due respect. They don't give you praise. But if they see something they don't like, they will give you their opinion. Because they're very questionable people. They're dishonest. Which is why you cannot tell them what you're planning to do. You cannot reveal any personal information to them. Because they will only use that against you. When you tell them about your personal struggles or hardship, they're storing that information away for a later date, where they will later use it against you. They will later bring up something that affected you in your past, and they will use it to hurt you. They will use it to discredit you. They may have done that already to you, but then they later apologised and you took them back. Maybe they told you they didn't really mean it, but they said it because they were thinking about it, because that's what they really feel and believe about you. So it's not that they were angry. They meant what they said. They already felt this way about you for a long time. They may have made a joke about you instead, but at some point, it's no longer a joke. It's used to hurt you. And anything that you've confided in them about other people, they will then go and reveal that information to them to turn other people against you and leave you without any support. They're trying to cause difference and disagreement. They're trying to separate you from certain people. There's really nothing they won't do. 
when they are planning to be cruel and unfair to you. They will side with people who are already an option to you. They will cooperate with them so that they can get to you. And they will already know all of the wicked and immoral things those other people did to you. But they will still associate themselves with them because it's designed to hurt you. It's designed to show you that they don't care about what anyone did to you. They know what they're doing. They know the effects of what they do. They know that it is hurtful and unfair, but they will use these things to affect you. They will use it to make fun of you. And then they will come back to you the next day and apologize to you. Because they want to give you time to go through it on your own. They want you to soak in these feelings of hurt. They want to dismiss you as something unimportant. They want to dehumanize you. Because they get a kick out of it. They get off on your pain. They get off on your anger. They enjoy seeing people hurt. They enjoy making people feel less than human. They like to see people worrying about something that they caused because it makes them feel like they have power over that person. The more hurtful and unfair it is, the better, because then it puts you in a state of shock. Where you can't believe that they would say or do something like that. It puts you in a state of confusion. They want to show you how far they're willing to go. Where you may be thinking that you could just move on, but then they come along and do all of these things to you. They try to break you down because they're very bitter and resentful people. So they will seek to harm you in return for their perceived injury. Which is why you need to monitor people. You need to check if they're really supporting you. Because narcissists can be very envious. They may desire to take something from you. And that's what fuels them to be that way. Because they may have been envious from the day they met you. They couldn't stand you. But they stayed with you because they believed they could get something from you. Which is why they eventually got what they wanted. And then they got themselves out of there. but they had to destroy everything in the process of doing that. It's done to put you in a state of shock. It's done to hurt you, to bring you down. And if someone is willing to go that far out of their way to hurt you, you shouldn't feel bad for them. You have to check that you have reliable and respectable people around you. People who have put in the work to earn that position in your life. People who have proved themselves with their actions rather than just their words. When you're involved in a difficult situation, who is in it with you? Who's still by your side? Who's still supporting you and defending you? Because if a person goes that far to build you up, they're not going to destroy you. If they were the ones who built you. The narcissist will try to break you down, no matter what you do. They will try to destroy everything you have because they never invested anything into you. All they ever did was take from you. 
so they don't care if they ruin everything because they never supported you anyway they were never on your side to begin with thank you for watching I hope this video resonated with you please like comment share and subscribe if you would like to donate my PayPal link is in the video description coaching inquiries you can email me at coaching at narc survivor at UK. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.